Hello and welcome to the channel, The Money Bala. I'm here, your host. Today, we will be fixing this HP Pavilion 15-inch laptop. It's got a spinny disk hard drive and we're going to be re replacing it with this, a solid state Samsung 860 Evo. Also, we're going to be replacing the battery. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go. Since we're using a Samsung drive, we're going to use Samsung software to migrate the data. We're going to download the Samsung Magician software for consumer SSD and the Samsung data migration from software for the consumer SSD. Um, I will leave links to both. They're both found on Samsung's website. I will leave both links in the video description below. As you can see, I've already downloaded these. I'll put links for them in the video description. Uh, once you open it, it's going to ask you what language you're going to want to do. You're going to do English. And it's going to set up. And you're going to install all this. You know, you could read that if you want. I don't read anymore. That's why there's YouTube. And it's going to install. It may take a while. Since this is an old hard drive, it's going to take a while. And we're going to finish the installation. Then we're just going to set up, we're going to plug the drive in. Um, I got a cable that's USB to SATA. Um, you're going to plug the drive in um, and make sure that that's the right way. You plug it in and then you'll be able to migrate all the data over the USB. So data migration will migrate your operating system and all of your data from your existing storage device to your new Samsung SSD. And we just start. Source disk, target disk is the Samsung Evo. As you can see, the source disk is larger than the target disk, but we're only moving 109 gigabytes of data, and so the 232 gigs that there are is gonna be fine. So you're just gonna start cloning. Um, and so you wanna close everything that you're doing, except for the migration, then you just run. And it's gonna take a while and your computer will probably restart a few times while it's doing this. When the data migration is complete, it's going to tell you to shut it off and install the drive. So that's just what we're going to do. We've shut this computer down. Now we're going to remove the back panel. So what we've got to do is we've got to remove all these screws um, and we've got to remove this rubber strip to access another screw to get this off. So we're going to do that. Peel that back. And it's sticky, so you can probably just stick it back. Make sure you've got your screwdrivers. You can wear an anti static wristband, that's probably going to be very helpful. There we go. So now we've got all of the screws out. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to flip this over and we're going to separate the base from the case. So I'm going to come around over here. And you just use a little tool, something like this, to separate it. You can hear it popping. Get in there. This part's a little difficult. There we go.
back from where you started. Look over. Should be pretty good now. Now, if you turn it over, I think it should come right out. There you go. And you've got that off. Okay. So now we've got the back off of the laptop. We're going to remove the battery cord um, just to remove any chance of battery stuff. And that's your battery. There's your hard drive. Here's your two RAM slots. That's your Wi Fi card. And that's it. So let's replace this. We gotta unplug it. Well, first let's take it out. I have no idea how to take this out of this. This one's in there tight. It's like they screwed it in, did they? Oh, there we go. So you just pull on this guy, and boop, there comes your hard drive. You take your two slots off of it, and you're gonna unplug this cable. You unplug the cable. There's your old hard drive. You're gonna take your new hard drive, plug that in. You're gonna put these bad boys back on it. Those, uh, these holes should go right back into this, right into that slot, and in there. And then this guy should go on this side. That guy should go on that side. Then I'm gonna slide these guys in. And you slide the enclosure into the, slide that back and that's connected. Shouldn't be going anywhere. You can pull on it and see. But with those rubber spacers, it should be pretty st sturdy in there. The next step, uh, we're gonna replace the old battery with a replacement battery. And so, this is the battery. This is the new battery. Yep, same model number, everything. So it looks like it's held in by these two screws. So we're gonna get those little guys. Dang, that guy's on that tight. Feels like tightening. Probably read the manual on this one. I don't know why that one's not moving. So you're just going to screw that guy to the left. You remove these three screws, and your battery should come right off. Old battery, along with the old hard drive. New battery, we're going to hook in right now. So let's place you down there. The screws should all align. Uh, let's plug it in at the end when we're about to put the case back on. So you screw these bad boys back on.
plug the battery back in. Hope that everything is good. It's plugged back in. Then um, what we're going to do, we're going to place the top back on and we're just going to screw everything back down. got a lot of screws so let's get started so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put all the screws back in in all of those spots there's a screw under this rubber strip then you place the rubber strip back on um, what you're gonna do is uh, push down on this so that it clicks in again everywhere you push in where you um, took it out and then you should be able to screw everything in and um, when we replaced the rubber strip up here um, initially, it kind of overhung over here, but if you like work scrunching it like this back to where the end that you started at, it should fit back in there. And then uh, you're going to want to take your CD drive, put it in there, and then screw that back in. So we're going to come in here and we're going to search for Magician, the hardware we downloaded. Uh, Magician, and it's going to be Samsung Magician Installer. Um, open it up, and you should see this. You double click on it and it's going to prompt you to run as an admin you can say yes and then you select the language and this this software that we're setting up right now is just going to optimize the drive um, and make sure that it has all the drivers on it Launch it. I'll tell you. Um. And it may take a minute to scan for the drive, but then it shows up. Look, you've got the 860 Evo, 256 gigs. Um, it's got a total of 0.1 terabytes written, which is good, and you can set up all types of old firmware. You can update the firmware from here, the computer will shut down, and it'll just update the firmware and make sure everything runs with the current version. shut things down and restart. As you can see the firmware is now the latest updated version. Um, with the software you can see if your system is compatible. Um, you can benchmark it to see how fast it reads and writes. Um, you can optimize it for performance um, which we'll do right now. And then um, Optimize it and we'll just trim that real quick. And then that's good. And you can over provision your drive so that it lasts longer. Um, you can set up encryption and stuff like that. That's good.